Well, folks, you might want to stop growing that Nesquik in the backyard because today we got a whole lot of people mad. Yep, a whole lot of people going on it because there is this story going around that I want to also show you guys. Like this video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Now, of course, we have been beefing, right? We have been beefing, 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 beefing with the BBC Samurai situation, with the Assassin's Creed, right? And yes, they have been insanely disrespectful to not just the Japanese culture, but also to the, the black culture as well. Like, what are we talking about? The only black character they put in the game and they make him LGTV. When the real Yasuke, the real person, he wasn't, right? So that's absolute insanity. They did that. We talked about it. But guess what? Today, we have more though. Yay! Check this out, right? So another round of layoffs hits Xbox and Microsoft as company fully embraces the woke agenda, man. I mean, bro, the second I saw them actually changing the character of Lara Croft from Tomb Raider, I knew it was Joe over. And guess what? This is not just happening at Xbox, guys. This is happening at PlayStation as well. So it's it's not like Xbox bad or PlayStation bad. Both of them are doing this woke nonsense and people are waking up right now. Check this. Oh, we got some more screenshots from that Concord game from Sony. Wait this character. <laughs> this character and this character. Oh, I can't wait for this game to come out. It's going to be fun seeing the reactions to this. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that to kind of kick energy, off the video. Huh? Let's get into Xbox. Uh -oh, so Xbox uh -oh. copying Activision, getting it out there, letting everybody know that it's Disability Pride Month. I'm sure virtual signaling is going to help pump up those Halo Infinite numbers. Let's see how that game's doing, shall we? Well, they're not helping it very much. Uh, 2,416 players at this moment, uh, with a peak of 4,000 over the 24-hour period. This is just Steam numbers, by the way. So there's probably like a two or 3,000 more on Xbox, maybe. <laughs> it's still being defeated by the old Halo, which has 4,000 people playing right now, Yo, with a peak of 5,700. Do you want the new Halo for the modern audience, or do you want the old school Halo that was actually good, that was real, that was uh, for the players, for the gamers? Which one? Pick your poison, ladies and gentlemen. Pick your poison. Kind of funny. Uh, this game would probably still be pretty. Like, see, peak five years ago was only 161,000. If they hadn't screwed this, it took them years to get this game running properly. Uh, I would rather play this than Halo Infinite. In fact, I still once in a while do pick up the Master Chief Collection and play it because it's in my Steam library. I haven't played it in a while, but. Those old Halo games are, are pretty fun. The future of Halo, though, not looking very good. I don't know if they'll ever get this back to the prominence that it once had. I just don't think you can do it without Bungie. How, many of, you guys, uh, how many of you guys are actually playing Halo uh, right now? They could have tweeted out about Halo, but they're like, it's Disability Pride Month, guys. What the hell is that? Uh, didn't you guys had like, <laughs> yo, they took the entire month of June, bro. And now they're like, July, we gotta take July as well, bro. That is insane, bro. So you're saying that they would get two months? Can a brother just get two seconds of representation in the game too? Bruh. Right? Like, as a brown man, where is my representation? Where is my representation? Are you telling me that I cannot even get it for two seconds though? And I have also said this uh, in numerous videos that where is my representation, where is my representation. And I've been seeing your guys' comments as well. And a lot of you guys are like, Skizzle, I want my representation too. I hear you, homie, but let me get mine first, damn it. Let me get my representation first and then we'll get down to your representation as well. Maybe I was a little too aggressive there. Let me show you some kishi. I, I booboo, let's get to it, okay? Really quick. My bad, guys. My and bad. no one's playing it. But I'm, yeah, I'm sure Disability Pride Month will get people back into the game. It's definitely going to bring in a lot of people. Xbox, as you know, in a lot of trouble. There's some stuff that came out recently talking about how badly it's selling compared to the PlayStation 5. I mean, it was, I don't remember the exact numbers, but it was really like two to one or something like that. It's pathetic. Xbox is in the shitter. And they've had a lot of layoffs. They're closing studios, all kinds of shit. Um, Crazy. What was it the huh? people that made that game that everybody liked? It was Crazy. Like they wouldn't have to if they were just making games for the gamers. But they're letting Actuus make games for social engineering purposes. I mean, damn, homie. Like the video. If you just want good games for made for gamers. Yeah, what, what are we talking about? That's an insane concept. Oh, you don't want um, a product being made for the target audience? What are we talking about? So you're saying that games uh, should not be made for gamers? Uh, Kotaku once said that gamers are not the target audience for games. Insanity, bro. <laughs> like, it's Hi-Fi Rush, as I was going to call it like a Jet Set Radio, but it's Hi-Fi Rush. Praise game. People loved it. They closed that studio down. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything bad, and I don't think there is. I heard nothing but good things about that game. And that studio closed. A lot of layoffs in the video game industry. I uh, just did a video on that earlier, about that studio that closed that worked with uh, Sweet Baby Inc. Now you've got Xbox layoffs. <gasps> so another round of layoffs hits Xbox and Microsoft as company fully embraces woke agenda. 
And, you know, Xbox, a proud partner, Sweet Baby Inc., I think they have their hands on pretty much anything that comes out. They're just on the payroll to come in and take a look at shit. At yeah. least that's what their website says. It says Xbox partner on their website. Their clients are right here, Xbox Game Studios. Right there. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No. And they also have Santa Monica Studio, right? Because, yeah, uh, people have been saying God of War Ragnarok was a little woke. It was a little bit woke, you know? It wasn't too much, though, but... I'm worried. I'm worried about it because they're gonna. They're working on the next uh, games, uh, maybe a new IP, and also the next God of War game. The entirety of Xbox games, <laughs> the entirety of Xbox Game Studios is there. 2K, Ubisoft. We all know what, what's going on, man. These suckers are insane, bro. Like Yasuke, the real person. We talked about it, but damn, bro. When you let that sink in, that's when it hits closer to home, right? Like imagine, like you do something good. Ubisoft makes a game on you, and instead of talking about your achievements, they're like, no, nah, man, your biggest achievement was you being, like, LGTV. <laughs> they made the real Yasuke, right? Insane disrespectful, stereotyping the black culture, and also, also, uh, they are enforcing the Asian hate as well, right? Like, stop the Asian hate, bro, stop the Asian hate. So, that, we, we talked about it numerous times, and now we were getting this situation as well. So, Ubisoft, you know what, front and center uh, on, uh, their, their, it's their client, it's their client. Electronic Arts, Rocksteady, oh, we, we know Rocksteady, oh, we know, we've been known that Warner Bros, oh, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Send them on How's that go. working out for you? How's that working out for you, sweet baby Xbox? Maybe that's what I should start calling them, sweet baby Xbox. So, yeah, this is the actual website in case you, you wanted some proof right there. Xbox Game Studios, all about that sweet, sweet baby. Well, uh, they're getting some sweet, sweet layoffs. Now... <laughs> I don't know exactly how many people have been laid off, but they yeah. laid off quite a few people, and they've been tweeting Damn. about it. A lot of them have quite a few woke things on their timeline. Uh, this Jessa Birdie woman. No, no, listen. I will be the last person to, uh, whether you're a wokey or a non-wokey, uh, I, I, I don't want to see you losing your career or your uh, paycheck or your your pay, right? Like I don't want to. I will, I will, I will be the last person to ever say that you should deserve to lose your job or anything. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. If you hold that opinion you hold that opinion uh but i don't hold that opinion right to me what, what's sad here is that dog like you suckers are just disrespecting your target audience which is gamers right right you suckers always want to say gamers are toxic right like gamers are manipulative or gamers are bad we don't want to make games for the gamers so why are you making games in the first place right like make games for the gamers duh and now you're at a point where you're learning that gamers are not liking your product and therefore you have to shut down yeah shut fire your fire your employees worse shut down your studios like we have seen co that happen a couple of times where companies have to shut them down fully because they didn't make enough money and the reason they didn't make enough money is because you called your game uh, you, you called your audience the gamers right bad toxic problematic toxic gamers and saying that gamers are bigoted, gamers are bad, misogynistic, and all that. Uh, and, and you're making, and you're letting activists make your games. What do you think is gonna happen? And now, apparently, the the the, the, the people they're firing are the wokies. Uh, yeah, go figure, bro. Has a uh, quite a woke timeline. I saw there was a compilation of some of her tweets. I think Hypnotic put it out. I'm not sure. I can't remember who tweeted that out. But somebody tweeted out a lot of her woke takes. Uh, this woman down here. I believe got fired while she was on vacation. Oh yeah, this one we know. Uh, this yeah. one was one of my favorite tweets. I remember when this was out there, but when this was circulating. Raise your hand yeah, if you're not man. a white man and buy video games. No hate to white dudes. It's just another day in the gaming industry that minorities have to fight to prove they exist. And there's uh, Madam Savvy. Why do you feel the need to pr the phrase the tweet like this? Why can't you just say raise your hand if you like games? Are you aware the largest demographic of gamers is Asian? Uh, this 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 is what I was talking about, man. They're letting activists handle their games. It's a, it, 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 this is what's going on at Xbox. Maybe more at Xbox than PlayStation, or maybe more at PlayStation than Xbox. Uh, uh, maybe that's your opinion, and if that's your opinion, that's your opinion. But here's the thing, though. Factually, though, it's happening. Literally, it's not even about PlayStation or Xbox. Uh, it's literally about, like, the, the bigger you get, the more you force this crap 
down your audience throat right now. We're seeing it happen with Insomniac and recently we covered the story, right? The Insomniac director came out and said that there isn't enough representation of the LGTV content in video games uh, and a lot of people are paranoid that next time when... And, and, and yeah, he's saying that there needs to be more representation in the Wolverine game. So pe people are paranoid that in Wolverine, I mean, Wolverine is gonna turn out to be... <laughs> LGTV as well, so a lot of people are very worried about that too. This is what happens when you let activists make your games. This, this is what's going on right now, but wait for it. And not white men? What fight is happening today? She's 100% correct. She got laid off on her vacation. Oh so, man. Yeah. Half on Xbox. I think you're going to see... So that we had our game showcase from Xbox recently, and a lot of people were impressed. I was impressed by some of them. But... It's just a sizzle but, reel. But does Sweet Baby have their hands in all of their shit like that website says? Because crazy, if this yeah. is true and they're proud partners with all uh, Xbox Game Studios, that says to me that they're looking at everything. So how bad are things going to get for Xbox? All these studios that they have their hands on. And I think a lot of people are going to really raise an eyebrow anytime one of these people puts a game out. I mean, look at some of the people. Ubisoft. Look what's coming out from them. You know that Sweet Baby had their hands in that Star Wars Outlaws game. You can tell just by looking at that female character, Mam Solo. Uh, they for sure had their hands on Assassin's Creed Shadow, without a doubt. Oh, so, absolutely, bro. Absolutely, I think things bro. are going to get really bad over the next two years. Because a lot of this stuff has been in development for a long time. And it's going to take time to reverse course. So, I don't... Yeah, look at that chin, bro. Look at that chin. And guys, check this out. Roll it. Well, it looks like that Steam sale was somewhat successful. They, they managed to get 200 more people to jump. Oh, damn, man. Like, yo, bro. <laughs> Your bro did a sound effect for the first time, and it happens to be this loud. Game, in, homie. Play the game. Congratulations. So, so successful. You had to drop the game down to $20 <laughs> to get anyone to buy your game again. But it ends on July 11th. That's pretty sad. $20.99 for the basic game. Deluxe version is $30. And the result of that is 200 extra players because <laughs> it was it was finished. As oh of two weeks or so. We saw a point where there was only like 150 oh God, people playing bro. this game. Which is a joke. It's laughable because it's not that old. It came out February 2nd. Yeah. <laughs> it shouldn't be this dead, but it is. Holy. And they know it because, you know, they've been releasing regular DLC. They just put Gay Joker in it. Uh, a Joker that's that's hiding his insecurities. No one wants this, but you know, this is what happens when you bring Sweet Baby Ink to kind of oversee your game. But... Okay, are, I, I didn't even know that was real, bro. Like, uh, bro, what is going on, man? What is going on? First they make, first they turn the BBC Samurai and Assassin's Creed right. Now they turn the Joker around as well. And the Wolverine director is saying that uh, we need more representation. And people are worried. Gamers are worried that they're gonna also turn the Wolverine character as well, bro. Like, what, what is going on? Hey, 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 what is going on, bro? What a tranquilo, papi. Tranquilo, tranquilo, gaming industry. Tranquilo. You know how it's going. This game lost Warner Brothers $200 million. $200 million down the drain. Gone. Thanks to Sweet Baby Inc. And I do absolutely blame Sweet Baby Inc. for this game's failure. There's other reasons. Bro, I need more fingers to count. Holy hell, 200 million. Yo, can, I, can a brother get two pennies or something? I like that. Like, first off, number one, nobody wants, to, nobody wants to play as a Suicide Squad. Everybody wants to play as the Justice League. If this had been a Justice League looter shooter, I think it would have held on a little bit better. But with Sweet Baby's involvement, I do wonder how successful it would have been. Because they make everybody ugly. And yeah. they intentionally do it. There's a scene where Harley Quinn goes to her locker... And I think it was King Shark's like, you're going to put that old outfit on? She's like, no, I'm thinking fashion forward. And it's the costume she has in the game, which is, of course, awful. Nobody wants that costume. You know, there's a reason that the number one selling Harley Quinn cosplay like, is, uh, or excuse me, not cosplay, something you can go into buy. You can go into like Halloween USA and buy this shit. And it's the Harley Quinn outfit from the first Suicide Squad. That's the top selling Harley Quinn costume. Women like that version, but they say they don't. They, they want this version. Uh, where you see like the booty cheeks and all that, right? Yeah, where you see the character is thick. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know what he's saying. There was a people have done those comparison. <laughs> people have done those comparison videos, man. And uh, yeah, the the woke versus non woke, and you see a clear difference. I I believe, of course, uh, with the with this game, the uh, woke absolutely killed it. Them making like bad character design, absolutely. But also the game in general. 
was also pretty bad as well. People did not like the idea though. Initially, I remember when they revealed the trailer, I, I was excited for the game. I'm talking like the very first trailer, but later on when they revealed that it was gonna be like the same old crap, like the same old looter shooter, I was like, nah, bro, I'm out though. And then after that, we learned it's also woke, so I'm double out after that. I'm double out. Woke definitely did destroy this game, absolutely. But also the game in general was bad. The reason the game in general was also bad was because they were also um having the the the, the sweet baby ink uh overtake it so yeah it's like a it's a it's a mixture of both we're told over and over again maybe it's because they keep self-inserting themselves with characters like this this is what uh this is the what the audience they want looks like too bad they don't play games uh <laughs> remember that leak for mrs freeze that came out a few weeks ago and warner was dmcaing people that were putting it up never happened to me okay. uh, but it did happen to some other people I think Jeremy from uh, Never say never, brother. Never say Gamers never. got hit, maybe. I, I know Hypnotic did, at least on Twitter, he got hit. Okay. And I think one or two other people got DMCA'd for sharing that leaked picture of her. And now you know why, because it was true, and the reactions were what they what they were. Uh, they were all bad. <laughs> Who came up with this? Why was this approved? This is shit. Now, I want to just put it out there. We don't know if this is the traditional Nora Freeze. This is beautiful. This is stunning. This is brave. How dare you actually say that Stellar Blade character needed to be looking like this too. <laughs> we really don't know because this is a multiversal version. This could be Victor Freeze gender swap. We don't necessarily know if this is Nora Freeze. Oh, yeah? By the way, Nora Freeze is hot. She doesn't look like Big Red the from the SJW meme. Okay. Uh, this okay. is not Nora Freeze, in my in my opinion. This is garbage. This is like anytime you see those woke protesters somewhere, this looks like somebody you would pick up from that crowd. Nobody asked for this. And by the way, she lives by being frozen. She has to be in cold temperatures. That's kind of the thing with uh, the yeah, freeze okay. people. Bruh. Why is she wearing uh, a scarf, like a mink scarf? She doesn't want to stay warm. Uh, maybe she's cold, bro. Maybe she. Maybe she's cold. Maybe she's cold. That's a stupid design choice like the rest of the character uh, she's a little chunky and she's ugly welcome to modern day video games you want to know why this game is such a failure it's decisions like this this game absolutely deserved to lose 200 million dollars so this Damn. is your next dlc ladies and gentlemen i hope all of you suicide squatters are excited because the first batch that you got was gay joker now you get uh butch mr freeze mm. oh love no it. excuse love me it. butch mix freeze love it love it love it love <laughs> people it. calling Even her more. mix freeze with mx pronoun it is Miss Freeze, even though she doesn't look anything like a woman. Looks like a toad. I'm sure this will get Yo, people... I heard that, like, yeah, they added, they recently had a uh, new patch, new update of new pronouns, right? Like MX or something like that. I, I, I'm not aware, though. Uh, yeah, so they had a new patch update, patch, a patch version 5 point something. Yeah, so whatever he said, yeah, I, I read that somewhere, too. So that's a new patch, guys. New DLC to the uh, LGTV. Well, very excited to come back and play Kill the Justice League. I'm sure, in fact... Well, you're being told to buy it. I hear from Forbes, June 30th, 2024. And it may be time to actually buy Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League Maybe. in true shill Maybe. fashion. They're out there saying, this is the game that you need, modern day gamers. This is the game that you want. This is the game that you need. This game is finished. Uh, it's going to get a little bit of a boost thanks to the Steam sale. It's up to 400 players, right? Which is still really sad and pathetic, let's be honest. It's sad and pathetic, 415 people with a peak of 500. That has not changed since my previous video covering this game. Which Crazy. wasn't even that long ago. Okay, it needs to get up to like uh, 495 to break the all time record. Uh, the 24 hour peak, uh, it needs to be beat that, right? The all time was like 13,000. Oh, that, they're not gonna beat that. At this point, they're not gonna. Maybe it, they would need a miracle for this one, man. They, yeah, a miracle needs to happen for them to like pull something like 14,000 <laughs> or more than that. We were talking about yet another problem with this issue, with this game, or the fact that it was on sale and nobody wanted it. Uh, Insane, I don't think man. there's going to be a lot of people jumping on the <laughs> Kill the Justice League bandwagon because of this character. Here's nah, all the stuff bro. you get. Everybody beefing right now, bro. So you get like... uh, Ugly Freeze and her Ice Axe, and you get some Freeze Guns. Oh, we got, oh, we got and the boss thing. Damn! By the yes, way, if you can see these it? outfits for the characters that you get with the new Battle Pass, they all look awful. Looks like they're all in cold suits, <laughs> like like Freeze has. So oh. that's the latest. I'm sure this is really going to save the game. It begins yeah, July game. 11th. So game. It's the sale ends on the day that this comes out. Like this is going to, <laughs> like this is going to save the game. <laughs> somewhere somebody thought this is a good idea. I can't believe somebody somebody somewhere in a group meeting for this game with all the devs said, 
this is the design. What do you think? And everybody mm. in that room said, great, awesome, amazing. amazing. I do. Did anybody yeah. stand up and say the right thing, that this is stupid and it's going to backfire and the internet's going to make fun of it? They thought this was a win. She's fat, too, by the way. You can see right there. This is a belly breaker. Uh. <laughs> no. This is Same great. energy. Same Love energy. Love seeing these characters just get desecrated. Same like energy. Damn. Kidding. Anyway, oh, I shouldn't that's have, pretty much uh, it. I, I shouldn't have zoomed that much, though. But, guys, check out this video on the screen. Recently, man, the drama with the PewDiePie. I'm not sure if you, uh, if you have seen it or not, but there is a lot of drama with uh, PewDiePie right now. They're trying to cancel him. They're after him. Check out this video on the screen. If you've already seen it, then check out the video on the left.